Hi, my name is Missy Singleton, and I work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Thank you for joining us today during the Water Festival. I will be talking about freshwater mussels. So what is a mussel? A mussel is an aquatic animal that belongs to a larger group of animals called mollusks. They're in the phylum mollusca, class bivalvia, and that's why sometimes they're referred to as bivalves. They're in the order Unionidae, and they're similar in appearance to their saltwater cousins, the oyster and the clam. A mussel is a simple, soft-bodied animal enclosed in two shells. The shells are formed of dissolved minerals, mostly calcium carbonate, that's extracted from their watery environment and secreted in consecutive layers in the shell. The size, shape, and color and markings of the shell are used by biologists to identify the mussel. I'm going to pick up two of these here to show you what they look like from the inside. Shell surfaces vary in color from yellow or green to black or brown. They may also contain distinct ridges, bumps, and textures. The interior of their shell is composed of a pearly nacre that varies in color from pure white to shades of pink, gray, and purple. I'll show you this paper shell here. Males and females can sometimes be distinguished by their shell shape. Some mussels have colorful names, like the Texas pig toe, the pistol grip, and the Texas heel splitter. And down here we have one called the fawn's foot. So how do mussels reproduce? The freshwater mussel has a unique life cycle that includes a short parasitic stage attached to a fish. Here's an illustration of the life cycle. It can be described in five distinct life stages. The larval stage, called glycidium, developed in the gill of the female mussel. A free drifting glycidium expelled from the female mussel a parasitic glycidium attached to the gills or fins of a living host fish, a free-living juvenile mussel, and an adult mussel. Reproduction occurs when the male mussel releases sperm into the water column from which is siphoned from the female mussel to fertilize the egg. The female releases the glycidium and they drift into the water seeking a suitable fish host. Once they find a suitable fish host, they will clamp onto the gills of the fins and remain there for approximately one to four weeks while transforming into juvenile mussels. As juvenile mussels, they drop off the fish and begin their free living adult life. To help ensure that they find a host fish, some species of mussels have developed a special adaptation. Some female mussels have enlarged mantle tissue that look like prey to attract a fish. When the fish nip at the lure, the female releases glycidia into the water column directly in front of the fish host. So what do mussels eat? Mussels are filter feeders, and that's the reason why we call them the livers of the river. Most consume a variety of microscopic particles suspended in the water column. These include things like algae, bacteria, and organic particles. They feed by taking water in through their in-current siphon and passing it over their mucus-covered gills where small food items are collected and transferred to the mouth. Waste particles are flushed out through the X-current siphon, and by filtering out suspended particles, including impurities, mussels improve water quality and clean lakes and streams. So where do freshwater mussels live? They live on the bottom of lakes and streams throughout the world. Out of 300 species identified in North America, Texas hosts more than 50 species of native freshwater mussels. Mussels live a passive life and travel only short distances during their lifetime. So why are freshwater mussels important? Historically, freshwater mussels provided food for early man and Native Americans. Mussel shells were used for jewelry and as currency for, the trading, for trading by certain Native American tribes. In the early 1900s, millions of mussels were harvested from rivers in North America to make pearl buttons. 
Mussels have a great scientific value as indicators of our environmental health and water quality. Mussels hold a lot of ecological value as a vital link in the food chain for mammals, birds, and fish. They improve water quality by straining out suspended particles and pollutants. So why are mussels in decline? Major factors contributing to the loss of mussel species and the degradation of their habitat include the creation of dams and impoundments, water pollution, sediment from agricultural land and construction projects, an introduction of non-native species such as our invasive zebra mussel, and a loss of a suitable fish host. So what can you do to help freshwater mussels? You can be aware of changing water land use practices near your local rivers and streams. You can dispose of paint and chemicals and garbage properly so it doesn't enter our waterways. For more information on the biology, conservation, and federal listing status of freshwater mussels in Texas, please visit our U.S. Fish and Wildlife Freshwater Mussel webpage. Here you will also find distribution maps and updates on mussel news as it pertains to Texas freshwater mussels. For more information on the regulations of handling freshwater mussels or to take part in the Texas Freshwater Mussels Project on iNaturalist, please visit the Texas Parks and Wildlife Texas Mussel Watch webpage. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed learning about Texas freshwater mussels at the Water Festival.